Morning guys. <coughs> Sorry if I sound a bit uh, rough and dry this morning. It's just that <coughs> I've just woke up. My throat's killing me. It's like, well, I've not just woke up. I've been up for about an hour now. It's like <coughs> 21 minutes past 6 a.m. And it's one of those mornings where I woke up really early. I think I woke up about four. And uh, yeah. So basically, <coughs> you're probably wondering why, like, you can see a basin. Um, it's because we're going to do today's challenge. And it's an easy challenge, but it's fun. And uh, there's maybe mm, a continued part of this. Um, so I want you to, um, what we make today, you need to keep a few of them. And uh, for next Thursday's challenge, and hopefully it works. <laughs> um, so all you really need is some kind of paint. It could be acrylic paint or ink or food colouring, anything like that, and shaving foam, and a basin or um, like it should be narrower, but I don't have like anything big enough that's narrow um, at the moment. So I'm using this. So basically you want to... And it's going to be shaving foam. Use the noise. You basically want to cover the bottom of your... container. Like that. And as I say, sorry about the noise, it's just... It's not coming out too great. Must be clogged or something for last night. Because I've done a few of these pages last night. Uh, two seconds, kids. So, oh my god. It's because I'm not properly awake yet. Everything's falling apart and bleh. So, I did these last night, but um, I've got a video on it as well. But uh, Sherry, uh, what's he having? I can't remember how you pronounce her second name. Had uh, seen my video and told me that I was kind of doing it wrong because uh, it was my first try at it, so I wasn't sure what I was doing. And. Uh, she messaged me and gave me some tips. Uh, so, that was good. Over. Um, so basically you want like a, a card or a squeegee or some sort of thing. Uh, I'm just going to use my ruler. And hopefully it works. But it's a bendy one but I'm still hoping it works. And uh, some kind of stick. And basically you want to get your paint, I'm just going to use acrylic for this one, and just drop it in, random areas. Okay, and then get another colour or whatever, and drop that in as well. I need to get more of this paint actually. Different colours. Okay. Just drop it in. And then basically what you want to do is get your stick and start marbling it. And making kind of shapes and stuff. You can flatten out your shaving foam, but I'm not going to bother at the moment. And just kind of have fun making designs and mixing your paint. 
obviously don't go deep because uh, it's just going to mix it like you want to be gentle when you're doing it just the top layer and just be gentle okay you want to try and get most of this covered Can you hear the birds tweeting in the background? It's because it's early, early. And that's them all waking up. Okay. So, I'm quite happy with that. Maybe, I don't know, am I happy with it? I think I need more. Paint the uh, purple, do you think? Looks a bit... Mm, Two orange, yeah. Just quite drop a few bits of purple in there. Can we spread out? Okay. Oh my god, I'm picking up somebody's bad habit. <laughs> I watched a video the other week and the person. <laughs> I'm not joking, they were doing a tutorial. It was a good tutorial. But the amount of times like they said okay in the video was unbelievable. I was like, oh my god. And now I'm starting it. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. And you get your paper and place it on and press just press it on lightly okay. uh, and I'm going to try and put a wee bit more on because I want the whole bit of paper to be covered I don't just want random bits I want basically it all to be covered That's what I'm trying to do. So then hang on. Try to get these edges in. I'm no one for lighting a lot of light on my page, so that's why I'm trying to get as much of this on my page as I can. And I suppose I can go over it again with another bit of foam, but I'm just hoping that it works. So then you're meant to leave this for roughly three minutes. Just put it somewhere and leave it for three minutes. And then <coughs> just have fun adding more stuff. More paint. You can um either keep that the way it is and just add more paint to it or you can scrape it off. I'm gonna keep mine the way I am and just add more stuff to it. And now I'm adding food colouring. And I have got a little dropper but I'm not sure what that's done right now. So I'm going to add a little food colouring. I'm just going to do two sheets of this just now because 
I'll end up pausing and coming back so that I can show you mess what I do next. And yeah, I'm probably doing this the wrong way. I'm using far too much wood to cut on. I have got a little dropper somewhere, but I just don't know what I've done with that. So, um, I think it's on this table somewhere, is it? I don't know. I don't know what I've done with Oh, it's up there. That's where it is. It's up on my glass. It's in my cup. I'll just try to lift it a wee bit and put some over here as well. I'm going to get more food colouring anyway, so in the next day or so, so I'm not really fast using this up to be honest <laughs> it's just a, having fun guys so that's what I'm doing I'm just having fun with it <laughs> try to spread this for a heal out a bit more I read out a bit more as well. Yeah. So, I'll get another sheet. Press this down. I've got a wee bit in the back there, but it doesn't matter. And then dip this side in. Ooh, that looks like it's going to be nice. So, I've got two. I'm just going to leave them sitting for a bit and I'll pause and come back when I'm going to scrape them so I'll speak to you in a sec okay so <clears throat> this has been sitting for a few minutes um, so basically I'm just going to I was going to use my roller but I've changed my mind so I'm going to I've got it on like a plastic pocket not that it's helped much because I've still got shaving foam everywhere <laughs> Um. And I've got like a little tub here, which I'm just gonna scrape the foam, like put the foam in when I've scraped this. So I'm just gonna try and move these at the road so I've got a bit more room. And I'm just gonna get my card and scrape lightly because last night I did it and it ripped. I did it too hard. So I'm just scraping lightly and I'm scraping the excess into this tub which I can just carry into the sink and just wash out. Oh, that's really pretty. And they say that you're meant to leave it to sit for a bit so that um, your da 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 can I speak today? Your design doesn't smudge. And I made a few of these last night and I like did it right away and it didn't really bother me the fact that it was smudged or whatever. It was still cool effects, so it didn't bother me. But that's really pretty guys, look how pretty that is. Yummy. Yummy and pretty. 
So just scrape lightly with your card and get all this shaving foam off. I I done a few last night and I managed to do it without putting so much shaving foam on but um not today with the looks it. <sighs> like if there was a lot of heavy foam on this one. So I'm just giving it a good scrape to make sure I rip most of it off. And then I'll just uh, it's kinda clumsy but I need to lift it now and turn it. And I've put shaving foam all over my table and I've written but Oh, and there's a wee tiny, tiny rip in this. Ah! I don't know if you can see it right here. Oh well, it's just a tiny one. It'll be, it'll be fine. Like, even with doing it lightly, I still managed to get a rip in it. Ah. So annoying. Really annoying. Hang on to six guys. I think I'll this up a bit. Um, yes, a bit of a bummer that I managed to get a tiny little tear on it. But it's cool, I can still use it. <laughs> so cool, I love it. Look at that guys, isn't that really cool? So that is how you get really cool backgrounds at a low price. <laughs> All you need is shaving foam, and as I say shaving foam, don't use hair gel or anything like that. Um, no, the gel, you need shaving foam, um, some paints or inks or food colouring. A tub of some sort, a card, and just basically have fun with it. So that's that one done. So I'm gonna take this off and set it somewhere to dry. But look, guys, look how pretty that is. Can you see how cool it looks? And yeah, not all my paper is covered, but I'm um, not too fast. Most of it's done, so um, this one should be ready to scrape now as well. So I'll get this one sorted. Oh, I'm looking at the back side of that, and uh, I think this is going to be lovely. <laughs> Obviously, I need a wee bit of space just to scrape on it. So, oh, there are feather. Where'd that come from? Oh, I got my tub again. And I've just, like, I scraped it all at the side. Can you see? So, one at the side. So now I've like switched sides so I can get the other side. <laughs> so here we go guys. Just gently scrape. And this is the one with the food colouring on it as well. Pretty guys, I like it. Just try to be gentle. 
get this off. Oh, look at that. <gasps> So I really hope that he's take part in this challenge and make some fun backgrounds. And then next Thursday's challenge we will put them to good use. I'm actually thinking, oh, I'm doing this the wrong way, duh, might change the paper, not the whole thing. Um, I'm thinking about stuff guys and I'm thinking of challenges we can do and I'm thinking about maybe doing a series where we can like have fun trying out te different techniques of uh, making backgrounds for our journals and um, other projects or whatever. Um, so I was thinking of doing something like that. Obviously we've got our, like, the marble background one um, that we use the actual marbles to um, roll the paint around and there should be a link to that in one of the files the challenge files that we've got because like we've got a list I don't know if everybody knows but <clears throat> what we do is we make a file up each month with each challenge in it and the video links and stuff like that um, so if these are slightly new members then go check out the files at the top of the page and uh, in a group, obviously, and you should find all the challenges. And there's I did a challenge on the marble backgrounds. Um, so if you want to know what that is, go and check out the files, or just go into my um. I need to find out what it is. I think it's just called marble paper or something like that, marble something. Um, that's really pretty as well, I like that. Um, if you just go into my YouTube and just search marble, it should come up. Um, and you can use that background as well. Or I might just, if you want me to redo a video of it and make another video of me, make more then let me know because I probably will do another video anyway because um, I need to make more marble paper because I, I, I've ran out of it now and I want to make some to make, put in racks and stuff like that as well so, ain't that cool guys so that's what you get and it's really fun so give it a go guys Make a, make as many as you like, but I do ask that you keep a few for uh, next week's challenge. Or if you use them all up, then you can make more next week for the challenge. Um, and we'll basically just use it up on a project. So a really cool pro uh, project coming up. Um, but as I say, guys, if you want me like to make challenges on different background paper techniques then let me know and I'll try and come up with some ideas to uh, do that um, so yeah guys that is this week's challenge I hope you all have fun with it I know I did and uh, it's fun getting messy but it's also a messy but it's clean because you're using like shaving foam which is like soap basically and it's so easy to clean up um so yeah guys have fun and uh, i'll speak to you soon bye for now